So how can we start to build real momentum behind our ideas and our thought leadership? Yeah, momentum is everything, isn't it? We can get so uh, tied to just making these little incremental changes and then suddenly something tips and you start to have momentum. If I think about it from my own career, from, the, from seeing my clients do it, momentum often happens when we start gathering others around us who are committed to the same efforts that we are. So going back to that effort about talking about the tribe, no matter what you're doing, there's probably already people working on this. For me, when I was running the Forum for Women Entrepreneurs, I, I would get a call from somebody in another city and they're working on something similar. And then I get a call from the Kauffman Foundation who funded, women, uh, funded entrepreneurship all around the country and they were doing this initiative around women's entrepreneurship. And now I found this whole other group of people. Then on the National Women's Business Council, a whole other group of people. So what you're looking for is who's already working in this arena? Who's already playing in your sandbox? And how how can you start to add your story to theirs, add your change to theirs? The more we go it alone, the slower it is. And by the way, lonely, depressing, all those, <laughs> we won't go down that path, right? You want to be with other people who are either have already done some of the things you're thinking and can tell you how to go faster or collaborate and, and cooperate together to make a bigger change. Whether you're trying to make change in search engine optimization or you're trying to make change in the military, it doesn't matter. You need other people around you who care about or at least you know, aren't trying to push the exact opposite change to what you're trying to change.